The NFL introduced the Guardian cap to its players two seasons ago. Initially, it was to be worn during practices by players at certain positions. This season, the league has allowed players to wear it during games. And for Titans tight end Josh Wiley, it was an easy choice. Josh, you're one of the players in the National Football League who has decided that we're not just going to wear the Guardian caps during practice. We're going to wear them during the game as well. Um, what was your primary motivating factor for making that decision? Well, I had a concussion in training camp, and that's kind of where it started. And then once I realized, I learned after that that guys could start wearing them in the games. Uh, I thought it would just be a great opportunity, um, you know what I mean, for myself and my own health. But also I think something that goes into it too is hopefully other guys around the league start to see it. Hopefully, you know what I mean, in two, three, couple years, whatever it is, uh, you start seeing it more across the league. Does it really have any impact on the way your helmet feels on your head or the way that you play in a game or anything like that? I don't feel it at all. Uh, some guys say it feels a little heavy, but I don't feel nothing, so yeah, it's just a bonus, I guess. Second and one at the 40. Rudolph going to throw it to flat again. This is Wiley with room. Wiley 35, Wiley 30, and Wiley is run out of bounds by Hamlin with another first down and a really good gain. Were there conversations that you needed to have, whether it be with coaches or equipment or anything like that before you made this decision? I kind of went back and forth with EQ uh, and the trainers. Uh, just kind of what they thought. I uh, talked to um, one of our doctors too. I ended up getting a new helmet, so I think that kind of plays a role. I think ultimately it was my decision. That's what I went with, and I'm, I don't ever plan on turning back. You're in your second year of your career. Is it rare for a young guy to be thinking about the implications of some of the injuries that you could sustain playing this game? Like I said, first and foremost, it was for my own health, um, for my own safety, of course. I think it's a great opportunity to use this as um, kind of a, a time to I mean, show guys across the league the differences and they can start collecting data on guys that wear it versus guys that don't. I think that's a really cool opportunity. Thanks to Amy Wells for sharing that with us. The Guardian cap, just one way for NFL players to continue to focus on their safety. Brian, everybody's for that. Absolutely. I'm surprised more guys aren't wearing it. Uh, truthfully, there's been uh, a lot of studies that have shown they're really effective in negating cut concussions and the effects of them. And for those guys to have that option, I think it's great that Josh is taking advantage of it. And the nice part, too, for these current NFL players they started wearing guardian caps when they were in high school. And so mm -hmm. when they came into the NFL, it wasn't that big a deal in terms of an adjustment. Yeah, there's no stigma for them. They mm -hmm. don't see anything different. They just see it as another way to protect themselves and uh, might as well take the opportunity that they're offering it. Uh, why not protect your head and your brain and uh, allow yourself to play football at a high level and one less thing to have to worry about as much. And gets Josh back out there. Do you like having him as part of the lineup? I certainly do. Yep, Josh Wiley coming up with some big plays.